Jessica Stoddart Ladd has always been drawn to the world of art and has had the incredible opportunity to make a living at doing what she loves. Her art is vibrant with colors, with a modern feel, and we sit down with Jessica to learn more about why she loves painting as she takes us through her creative process. I work, it, it definitely is therapeutic. Um, time becomes irrelevant. It literally could feel like five minutes and it's been two hours. But yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoy it and I continue to kind of get better at it and I love that. I like watching the stages of where I was to where I am at the moment. I think if you love something and can have the ability and the drive to be able to try to do it as a living and you're lucky. So I feel pretty lucky. Well, I remember I had an interview in high school and I was in, they were like, what are you gonna do for a living? And I was like, I'm gonna be a painter. I was thinking about that the other day. You know, I was basically, what, 16, 17. And to me, I had no thought that I couldn't do it. So I think that helped me, you know, go to school and then kind of put myself in positions to where I could study abroad and I worked at a museum when I was in college and I tried to take advantage of every outlet that could plug me in somewhere and then from there it just kept on going with art, you know, it never stopped. Now I have an idea of what my subject is going to be and then I'll sit down with my canvas and then I'll sketch and you know, go from there and change things and see where I want it to go. And then after I sketch it, then I'll start to, to paint. Um, it's very architectural. Uh, there's an element of industrial kind of crispness to the subject, um, but probably modern would sum it up the best. And if I see something and I'm attracted to it, I try to break it down to a composition, you know, in my mind, think about how I could change it or, you know, make it interesting as a painting. Um, it's just kind of a process that evolves. You know, you see it, then you translate it, you depict it into your surface and then go from there. Um, it's sometimes it's quick and sometimes it takes a little bit longer and sometimes you start out with one idea and it changes. So. You know, that's what makes it fun. That's what makes it kind of interesting because the medium that you work with, it has its own voice and then you're trying to put your voice into it so you kind of have to play, you know, off each other a little bit. I paint on a tempered hardboard. Some people paint on canvas. So, you know, you start out with your surface and you prime it with gesso and get your board prepped. And then um, for me, I like to prime it with the gesso, then start out with a yellow ochre coat, undercoat, which is what you see here. And then I'll do my sketch. And um, as far as my color palette over here, I mean, I use kind of a, a variety of different colors. I'll use titanium white yellow okra, I mean, I love lamp blacks and the cadmiums. I love to use those. I mean, it's kind of, you mix them and make your own colors. I grew up in this area. I grew up in between Livingston and Monterey and Crawford. And the farm was a 200 acre farm. So I had lots of freedom to build things. I remember building like little spaceships with my brother and you know being able to explore anything that I wanted. You know it, there was really no limits. So um, growing up where there is lots of space like Tennessee, you know like this area is I think awesome. And so um, when I graduated from college I went to Asheville and 
loved it, great experience. But then when I had my daughter, we decided, you know, my husband and I to move back and give her more of what this area has to offer as far as space and really friendly people and family around and um, not so much the hustle and bustle of the, you know, inner city. I think if you are interested in art, um, just keep doing it and find outlets for it. I think to keep it simple, I think that is what has helped us as far as being able to do what we do, live simple, live within your means. If you're looking at it from a financial perspective, there's a lot of good resources like community college where you could go two years where it's free, where you might not have as much debt. So that's what I would recommend. Keep it simple <laughs> and just work.